Ray Urias with OP Noobs, PC Gaming by PC Gamers, here with Tomasz Gop. Thank you for joining us. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. A real pleasure. Ancestors Legacy, MMORPG? No. It's a real... Nice try. <laughs> <laughs> a real-time strategy game. Uh, we call it history inspired because uh, we're trying to be as historically accurate as possible, uh, but probably there's always going to be people who find like anachronisms in this game or whatnot. So we're history inspired. There's no fantasy in this game. Uh, we try to be as close to real historical events as possible. So, you know, especially the single player campaign, uh, we're portraying and reenacting, so to say, parts of the history of each of the four nations that we have in the game uh, as close as possible. So we have Vikings, Anglo-Saxons, Germans and Slavs. And each one of them has their own dedicated single player campaign. Not even talking about single player, uh, multiplayer now. Sure. So the game's been in development for two and a half years now? Yes, uh, it's been in development for, yeah, it's over two years now. Our team is about 25 people right now. We started in 15, 20 people, so we've been growing. Probably we're gonna we're gonna finish the game with a, with a, with a headcount that we have right now, and that means couple months still left because we're releasing Q2 2018. Is it in early access now or not released at all? Uh, we're not really planning to do early access, but what we will do, and it's gonna be a week or couple weeks from now, Close is beta. open beta. We are in closed beta right now. Uh, some people are already playing the game. Uh, you, you can watch a lot of footage, but um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be opening this beta. It's a multiplayer beta. This is what we're uh, what we're giving out to people right now. Uh, we're going to be opening it totally, so it's going to be like a totally free open beta on Steam right now. I mean, not right now, but a week or a couple of weeks. So, what do you when you have this open beta coming up? I mean, everyone's getting ready for it. What do you look? What is, what is the most kind of element that you're keeping your eye on in terms of the gameplay or mechanics or balance what are you looking at for uh, since the open beta that, that we're doing is going to be a multiplayer open beta we're definitely uh, looking at a uh, gameplay aspects of the game balance uh, how you know each squads of each nations play against each other what's the actual feeling of uh, competing and so on um, and, and 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 this is this is the the core that we really wanted to nail to get right in a game and uh, we're going to be doing uh, because we can't really say whether multiplayer or single player is more important to us. We really want to get both well. And especially because of the fact that we're both PC and Xbox One, it's really important to, you know, because uh, PC players are, a lot of them are highly competitive, yeah. I was, especially the multiplayer guys. Absolutely. So. Our multiplayer is competitive. I would say it's both micro, macro, and, and, and yeah. you, you, get, you get the full package. But regarding the console players, we really want to nail the single player part of the game uh, well because we think a lot of play, uh, a lot of console players just want to be, we just want to be able to, you know, lay back and enjoy the game on the couch. So there's both, and of course, both are going to be available on both platforms, right? Do you have an estimate for the total length of the single player campaign? Yeah, sure. Since we have four factions, each one of them is going to have 10 missions. That's 40 missions in total. And each one of the sub campaigns, like for example, uh, each faction has two campaigns, so five missions per campaign. And each of the campaigns has a real historical events as a background, like a real parts of history of each nation, uh, battles that took place and so on and so on. Awesome. I, I love RTSs. I think a lot of gamers love RTSs. It looks gorgeous. Very excited to see it come out in Q2 2018. Uh, open beta, is there a website for that? Uh, we're, uh, we're, we're, uh, we're informing everybody about what we're doing on our uh, fan page, on our, uh, on our Twitter. But if you want to check out the website, of course, it's, it's also being updated. We're also informing that. It's distractivecreations.pl. That's the website of, of, of our studio. Where, well, Ancestors Legacy is the only project that we're working right now. So if you go to distractivecreations.pl, you're going to see the news about Ancestors Legacy, definitely. Awesome. Tomas, executive producer, Ancestors Legacy, Q2 2018. Very, very exciting. Thanks for having us. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks a lot. <laughs>